So I want to just exhibit how we are able to use these simulations in class to support their science learning, especially when we're trying to instruct students about things that they can't easily see, for example, atoms and molecules, uh, forces, so they're able to see this by simulation. I definitely see an increase in their understanding conceptually. For example, currently we're working on atoms, and in the past we perhaps just drew models of atoms, looked at pictures of atoms, but when they can actually manipulate them, add in protons, electrons, neutrons, and see what happens, they understand the periodic table much better because of that interaction. I'm Molly Bartlett. I go to Cedar Heights Middle School, and I am in eighth grade. We use our computers to do a lot of stuff, so like in science we do gizmos. We use gizmos to like help us understand things a little bit better. My name is Aaron Carino. I go to Cedar Heights and I'm in eighth grade. What I really like about the our project is that it's in our computer and it's much more simpler than um, having to write it down most of the time. Gizmos are kind of like online experiments, online lab experiments, where you can basically experiment, but without uh, the supplies needed, other than your computer, of course. For technology, we could not only learn only for ourselves, but learn from others as well. 